Hello. <clears throat> Today I will show you how to calculate uh, the time range. How many weekday, how many weekend do we have between the time range using Microsoft uh, auto automate flow? So we have basic form here, start date, end date. When we submit the form, we want using a Power Automate flow to calculate. So the first uh, step is uh, when a new response is submitted from the form, the form ID is the name of the form, and we get response details. Now we need to initialize uh, five variables. So variable one is uh, initialize, and the name of that will be start date. It will be using stream, and we set the data value as start date. Then we initialize another variable. It will be increase one. Okay. Same thing, string. And then we don't uh, in, uh, set up the value. Let's initialize. Uh, oh, sorry. Let's. Uh, initialize another variable it will be the week and list so we will store all the week and day to the list here it will be a string and we leave it blank next variable we will use count week day it will be integer and the value will be set to zero next one we want to count the weekend so count weekend it will be integer again, and the set value to zero. Now we need to uh, add another step. We need using do until control. <coughs> From here, we choose the value. So if the start date Uh, here they have uh, a bug, so you need to click edit, then go back again, then the is equal to it's not blank. So we need using greater than, we choose in the end date, because we want to add increase one day until it greater than end date, we stop the loop. So now we need to add another control within do until. This control we want using that to using condition control. <coughs> so now we need to check the date we go through if it is a weekend or not. So here we want to use expression and we want to use in day of week. So day of week, inside here we want to use in the start date. 
So day of the week, if it is equal to zero, that means uh, Saturday. Sorry, Sunday. <coughs> then we add another one. If it is uh, Sunday or Saturday. So we want to use another day of week. We using the same one. Start date. If it is equal to zero of six, it's uh, vacant. So we using hour. If it is vacant, we want to set the variable string. Sorry, not set. Uh, we want to delete that. And we want to variable. We want to append to string variable. So we want to add the, if it is vacant, we want to add this to the weekday list. Weekend day, weekend list. So we want to add the start date to the list. And don't forget, uh, remember you need to uh, add a comma here, otherwise it will append without a comma. You you won't see the details. So if it is no, oh, we also want to add ac another action. So variable. In this case, we want to increment variable. So we want increase one because it's vacant. And if not, we want the variable of the the variable of the weekday increase one. Okay. Now we finish the check the date if it is vacant or not. <coughs> then. In, we send the do until we need increase one day to here to start date. So let's uh, use variable and this one we use in set variable. And now we set increase one. So here, we want to increase one day of the start date. So we will need, need using add dates. Add dates. So within add dates, we need a three parameter. Uh, parameter. So the first one is date, string. Second one is uh, increase how many days. And the third one is uh, the format of the date. We need the format of the date because uh, if you not set up the format, it will add the time uh, string there. So it, uh, it's not a date stream. It's, uh, it will add the time stream to the date, date value. So we want to increase uh, one day. And the format we want using year, 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 and uh, month, and uh, d, d, day. Remember here, you need to use in the capital M, otherwise you, you will get the result always be zero, zero. <coughs> so from here, we want to use in the start date. So we want to increase start date uh, increase one day to the start date. And after that, we need to uh, <coughs> set, a, set, a, uh, set a variable, another variable. So this variable, we want to set a start date. 
the value we will use in increase one. <coughs> the reason we use in two variable here because if you want to add dates directed here, it cannot add dates to the start date. It cannot add dates to itself. That's why we need two variable. One is increase. One is the start date. <coughs> Okay, now after that, we want to send the email so we can get the result. So the email we want to use in Office 365 Outlook. Then we want to send the email. So we want to send it to myself. And then the subject we want to you know, see date range. And from here, we want to input the start date. The start date will be the start date answer of the start date. And end date. We want to use in the end dates. <coughs> and the week days, we want to get the result. So the result, we want to get the result of the initialized uh, variable here. It's not uh, show up within the list here. Let's see. Oh, here. If we put here, we can see the result. So let's see if it is uh, weekdays. We copy it. To here. And now we we can we also need to put the weekend here and click that to copy it here. Weekend list. Okay, now we got all the result here. Let's save it and then we submit uh, a time. So we submit from the Sunday, May 9th to May 16. So it should include one, two, three, three weekend. And uh, seven, uh, five weekday. So now let's go back to see if we get the su success resort. <coughs> let's see the resort here. So, for 9, so 9 is uh, Sunday, so 9 is here, we need it here, and then we have 15 and 16, 15 and 16, so it's a 3 weekend and a 5 weekdays, okay. So that's how we do the power flow to calculate the within a time range, how many weekends, how many weekdays. So if you want to add holidays, to check the holidays, you need using a Excel 
table to list all the holidays, then we can grab the holiday table details and calculate through here. So next video I will talk about how to add holiday into the power flow. Okay, hope you enjoy this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.